Hey guys, Shane Wood down here. I'm at Whiskey Gulch right off Beach Drive down here in Port Orchard. And uh, I'm trying to uh, interview and talk to a couple of these local restaurant owners, get a, uh, allow you guys to get to know them a little bit and tell you a little bit about what they do here. Um, Whiskey Gulch is owned by Rob and, and Chuck and they're incredible people. They do a lot for this community uh, from donating food to um, sponsorships and all kinds of incredible things that they do. You can see the mural there was uh, actually painted by some kids at uh, South Kitsap High School. It turned out beautifully. And uh, if you think the, ins the outside's nice, wait until you see what it looks like inside. Come on in. Okay, hey, uh, uh, real quick, Shane Wood, I'm down here with Chuck Huck, the owner of uh, Whiskey Gold's Bar and Grill. Um, how you doing today? I'm excellent, how are you? I'm good, thanks for letting us come down and kind of kinda highlight your business. Um, what, uh, obviously, I've been coming to the Whiskey Gold's for ever since you guys opened. I love this place. Um, it's a great place to come for drinks and food and, you know, anything else that uh, I know you guys are doing, um, you know, catering and even... A, when you can, events upstairs too. Correct. Tell, me, tell me about this event center. What, what is that all about? So we actually built a full bar upstairs. It's a complete, uh, yeah, event center. I mean, we have we can have up to about 140 people up there. Uh, obviously, once COVID sure. restrictions are lifted, but yeah, we have a great, a great, great space up there. And we, before COVID hit, we've already had some, you know, wedding parties and stuff like that. And you get the view of the sound. And, oh yeah. And like I said, everything up there is pretty much brand new, so it's pretty pretty awesome. Wow, wow! I can't wait to, to try that. I, uh, um, I I've done a lot of stuff with you um, with the community from, uh, and I always respected that your your uh, um, support of the football team, um, the stuff we did last year. You were making meals for all of the the teams and um, donating those to them, and um, even coming up and hand preparing them. I know you, you you've just done a lot of incredible stuff, and I've always respected that about you. What what do you think it is that uh, you know keeps that community-minded focus in your heart that uh, I, I don't see in a lot of other people? Well, I don't know. I, I grew I grew up basically. That's what I was always taught is to make sure you always give back. But more than anything, like this really isn't you know our place. It's, this is the community's place because without the community, we're not open. Yeah. I mean, we're a business and. We, uh, this is their place. Yeah. If the community doesn't go and come in and have a drink or a burger or whatever once in a while, well, this place isn't around. So you got to kind of give back to those who give to you. So right. just, uh, just kind of what's in green in my head. I, uh, I appreciate you saying that. I know Bruce, uh, he tells us at the Ford store, if uh, um, I don't pay you, the customer pays you. That's exactly so, it. So, yep, that's right. And you'll never hear me say, this is my place because it drives me crazy when people say it's my place. It's not my place. It's your place yeah so um, when I come down here I'm trying to eat right I'm trying to improve my uh, my diet a little bit so I always order your salads right sure. you got uh, this, this black and blue salad that's absolutely incredible but uh, as the owner and, and, and really the chef you do a lot of the cooking down here what, what is your favorite dish that Whiskey Gulch has it's hard to say one specific dish but I am absolutely a wing guy and one of the cool things that we do with our wings is we don't just buy some wings and throw it in a fryer. They actually brine for 24 hours in like this uh, beer, wine brines. And so once we do that, we actually slow cook them. And then right before we serve them, we flash fry them. So you have it super moist in the middle, super crispy on the outside. And then we make some homemade sauces. Wow. Um, so I would say that's my personal favorite, but I'm sure everyone's got their, their, their favorites. Everyone loves wings. I can't believe I've never tried the wings down here. Oh, they're incredible. I mean, and our burgers are great. I mean, they're those are all ground in house, and our soups are all homemade, and so there's a lot of good stuff. It all depends what your taste is. Wow. We have lighter fare, and we have heavier stuff too. Yeah. Um, so um, since um, COVID has hit us, and the the different um, you know uh, lockdowns and and, and um, new protocols have been put in place for, for for a restaurant or for you guys to run your business. I know we had some protocols that, that we uh, follow strictly. And uh, um, as I've been coming to your restaurant and I see your staff and how well um, they've they've really adapted to you know all of this change from from wearing masks to um, cleaning spots promptly right after a customer um, was there to 
um, really just everything, the distancing aspect of it. And what I've also noticed is your customers really do a good job of, of, it, of adhering to that. And it, it feels like culture ultimately, yeah, it's strange, but what do you think has been the, the key for you to really stay so adaptive and, and have your customers so bought in? Uh, a, a couple of things is we've actually worked with the officials, the people that are making sure that we're within all the guidelines and they've actually been wonderful. Yeah. It's the liquor control board and people might get them a little bit of crap here and there, but overall they have been absolutely wonderful to work with. Uh, my business partner, Rob, he's been really good at communicating with, with our advisor and making sure that we're, all, we're within all the guidelines. And at the end of the day, it's all about, we want our staff to be safe, we want our guests to be safe, um, and it's the law. Yeah. I mean, we, ha we have to go and follow these. Do I agree with them 100%? Probably not all of them, but you know, I get it. At the end of the day, it's about keeping people safe, safe keeping my staff safe, and making sure every person that walks in here is safe. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I, uh, I gotta tell you, um, as difficult as I could imagine this whole time has been for a restaurant in particular, I, th I think um, specifically restaurants, certainly barber shops and bowling alleys, and there's tons of people that sure. have been severely affected, but uh, boy, they have really put some moving pieces on you guys. So I'm, I'm impressed yeah. and I respect the heck out of um, your guys' uh, willingness. And um, there's, there's obviously restaurants here in town that haven't been so um, willing to um, conform and you guys have done an awesome job. Um, I have a, an important question. Um, as I'm coming in, uh, I see this big mural, and I think I know a little bit about it. But tell tell me about that mural and what what that was created for and what it is. So the mural on the 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 front, it's it was actually last year's seniors that weren't able to go and have their proper you know senior year really. They weren't able to go to prom and you know have a proper graduation. Uh, we wanted to do something just to let them know that. We're thinking about them and that we understand what they're going through and you know we feel their pain and so we we'll, we allowed the senior class to come and place, basically use our entire wall for a mural yeah um, and we had heard that they wanted to do that uh, somewhere downtown and the downtown wouldn't allow them to do it so we asked them to come and do it here I mean I it, seemed, it. it seemed like it was really important to them and it's kind of nice because every senior who graduated. Their name is there, so it's one of those things where their family can come and they can see that, you know, there's just to recognize it's them. It's a memorial. I mean, it really it not is. a memorial, but I mean, they're uh, that's. Uh, I think that was a really beautiful thing for you guys to do to use your business and your wall to um, honor these kids that didn't get much of a year really. And, yeah, and you and have a senior in school now, don't you? And I have a senior in school, and then, and even last year, you know, we had quite a few seniors that worked here. Um, and they're just wonderful, wonderful young people, and they, they did so much for us. And my heart broke watching them struggle the way they were. Like I had one kid that was just an avid baseball player and wasn't able to play baseball his senior year, and that just you know that really hurt, you know. And, and if I mean it was one small thing that we could go just to do to just help them, and you know if it it was an easy decision. Sure. And it, and my partners they were all in on it as well. Yeah. Um. You know, I, I, as I've gotten to know you and, 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 and gained so much more, you know, so much respect for um, you, I, I, I realize you're, you're obviously a man of a lot of different hats. You're, you know, you're, you're a dad, obviously. You're a married man. Um, how long have you been married? Uh, I've been married for less than two years. Okay, but but awesome gal. I've oh, met, yeah, I've she's, met her. she's way out of my league. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. um, you know, you're, you're super active in the community. Um, uh, obviously a business owner and a, and a great employer what what would you say you know as you have all these moving pe pieces in your life what what is your purpose and I know that's a tough question to answer but what, what would you say is your purpose what motivates I, you keep you keeps you going I mean really what motivates me is just the people in my life you know whether it's people here at Whiskey Gulch whether it's my partners the staff here uh, my kids my wife my family at home um, this community. I mean, it's we, the the people in this community have just been absolutely wonderful. And during all this, like I said, we're under a tarp right now. Right. And they've come in, and oftentimes there's a waiting list to get in here. And it, it's just my purpose is just to maybe make their day slightly better. Yeah. You know, and that's I tell my staff that all the time. Our job is to make sure that when people walk in here, they actually walk out happier than when they walked in here. If we do that, then we did something good for the community. 
Yeah. So yeah. my purpose is probably to make people a little bit happier. That's beautiful, man. Yeah. I, I absolutely love that. Um, I, uh, I, I did, one of the best things, obviously, you have amazing staff. They're, they're, but the food is incredible, guys. If, if you haven't been down here to Whiskey Gulch, and even tried the appetizers, the wings, the salad, like I mentioned, I, I'm, I'm gonna, you, you made me a salad, right? Correct. Yeah, uh, I, I wanna get some shots of that, show, uh, show people what that looks like, and um, you know, when, when this thing opens up, hopefully, are, are we good to go on the 11th? For twenty five percent, or is that it, we won't know until we won't know until right before. So we have to work with the health department and make sure that we hit all the criteria. I see. Our our region hits the criteria, so it could go either way. We might next week we, we might still be under a tarp, right. but hopefully we'll be inside. Yeah. Well, here's crossing our fingers and, yeah. and hoping we can we can get out here and enjoy our families in your place and um, you know start uh, start you know getting back to normal. Yeah. No. It's. I mean. I'm ready to get back to normal, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, it is we're blessed. We're I blessed. mean, we have, we live in a great place, a great restaurant, good friends, absolutely, good community members. It's I have very little to complain about. Absolutely, me neither. I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you, man. Hey, no problem. Thanks for letting us in the restaurant. Uh, we're down here at Whiskey Gold. This is Chuck Huck, Shane Wood uh, from Port Orchard Ford. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.